I think the thing to keep in mind about this is actually the average ocean depth is nearly 4,000 metres. So the vast area of the world is at that depth or greater. And we've barely begun to really discover what is down there at that depth. Welcome to the deep sea. I think for myself, the highlights are literally ever-changing. So the most recent thing we've looked at and found, I'm so thrilled about, I can hardly believe. Then five minutes later, the next thing we find, I'm so thrilled about, I can hardly believe we have it. Visually, we found this incredible solitary hydroid, a relative of corals and sea anemones that stood well over a metre tall. The imagery of that, I think, will become the iconic uh, picture for the cruise. I think that's likely to be a new species. So we found some really spectacular worms that are pelagic, that are swimming worms. I'll be sequencing the DNA of them pretty quickly and establishing if they're new records for Western Australia or if they're new species, in which case we'll name them. So high excitement already, um, even before we can properly sit down. Uh, this is a faceless cusk eel. Please enjoy the footage of this amazing creature. New record for Western Australia. As far as I know, it's the deepest specimen of fish that's ever been taken from Western Australia. And certainly, I've never seen any footage of this thing underwater from Australia. So to, to put all of those things together for this just one thing, let alone all of the other species that we're doing the same thing for, it's just fabulous. You could imagine uh, maybe a hundred years ago you collected something. You didn't imagine a genetic revolution coming. You didn't imagine that, that it would have this entire new utility, you know, 50 odd years later. Um, and so we're just, we're going to imagine what can happen next with our collections. Hello? Hello. Sorry to interrupt, there's a flashing giant squid on the... Seriously. Um, it's super exciting and I actually need to go now. <laughs> That's cool. Every moment is kind of new for me and I, yeah, I live for those. And so it's a, an incredibly exciting trip because those moments just keep rolling out. Uh, they don't stop. Being able to share those unique moments with all the people that are watching is actually really exciting for us as well. So I hope you're as excited as I am. It could be a long day of looking at rocks or it could be an incredibly exciting day. Either way, you'll have to stay tuned to find out what happens. In rushes Glenmore, our curator of fishes, to announce that there's a, like a large squid. For me, it captures this, this cruise perfectly, which is you go out and you're expecting certain things, and all of a sudden you're just taken sideways and you're now in the moment of discovery and doing something you never expected and seeing something you've never seen. So it's just magic. That, that was, I've never done anything like that. Our goals for this expedition was to understand the biodiversity of Western Australia in a much deeper way. And, and this is because we haven't actually explored the deep ocean around that coastline very much at all. Simply by carrying out these surveys, we've already increased our knowledge hugely. Every day we're finding amazing critters, new records for Western Australia, new records for Australia, new things that we haven't seen before, and new species. So it's, um, it's just been an amazing experience. <laughs>